All right, everybody, what is going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to part three of Simile Thoughts by Hugo B. Designer as we continue our journey in Mario. And um, we have got, we are got, we have got four levels remaining in this so far. So let's jump in and uh, take a look to see what we've got in this one. So straight away, I can see that we're in an overgrown style. See up there to shoot a light bridge from there. We have a faith plate here. Okay, so that gets us a cube. Now I'm assuming there is a way to turn this off, which follow these outlines along here. Maybe suggests is that a button? That's not a button. So it must be this button that controls everything. Possibly. Maybe. I'm not sure about that, so let's continue anyway. So we have that, but it doesn't help us because we don't have a way to shoot that. We're going to lose the ball anyway. So I think we're probably going to want to use. Okay, so that just blocks that. Oh, we've got a laser receiver. Okay, so I. I was right following the timeline, I just didn't follow it all the way. That's a laser receiver, and I guess that's over a, like a death field, I guess. So, we could potentially do this, but then we'd need to have a portal there, wouldn't we, to make that work. Unless I were, uh, well, it's unless I could juggle and go through the portal and then come out the other side, but then we'd lose the portal here. So it wouldn't make a lot of sense to do that, would it? I'll be honest. So, I mean, we need to have probably portal here, portal there. Just about so I don't think I can jump the gap. However, got quite a bit of No, I'm bonking my head on something. The light bridge. Alright, well. So the question is, how do we get across to place the pole where we need it to go? We don't see a surface there. Something like there's like a surface here or here where we can um, walk across with a light bridge. I don't feel like we can utilize the light bridge. Definitely need to put a pole there and a pole there. <coughs> but to get the portal there, I'm gonna have to do some fling or something. So I think, if I remember rightly, I've got to be careful of the lasers on because I think the lasers are insta-death. So you see, we could do that. That's fine. But then, obviously, we can't...
Oh, okay. I see what I need to do. I think I see what I need to do. So, let's go back to here. Like so, jump down here. And then what we need to do is use this one to then fling back up here. We shoot Paul there, walk through there, go through there, and then that drops the cube. I just need to do that without failing. Which uh, isn't the easiest of things for me to obtain, I'll be honest. Ah! Moves at the last minute. I mean, I could slow it down and bullet time it, but I'd rather try and do it honestly, where possible. I've relied a lot on bullet. I've relied a lot on bullet time up until this point. My goodness, Mario is just such a slippery character. Oh my goodness, really? Really? One eternity later. All right. What we're gonna do is pull here and jump. Excellent. F6, right? F6 is the thing in Mario. Through here. And then... Orange there. And we get... The cube. Alright, so now we need to get the cube up to here, I think. Is what we need to do. So that's pretty attainable by just doing... That. Okay, so that's that dealt with. And then to finish off, we're gonna need light bridge. So I think we need to get do that maneuver again, like the flinging between these portals. Yay. And hopefully from here we can see to put that on there, shoot a portal there, and then we can jump over. And then we should be done, he says. Hopefully. So, yeah, portal. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay, but this could be where we use a bit of... I might have to use a bit of bullet time here. So I think what I can do is if I fling... If I come out of this one, shoot my portal there and then land on here, I can then shoot my portal there and then we can exit as I said before. So let's do this really slowly. I don't feel like I've got enough height, so I'm just going to do that again. And uh, land on there, thank you. Pull there, jump across here. And down the pipe to victory, huzzah! There we go. A neat puzzle. I did wonder where the light bridge was going to come into it because up to that point we hadn't really used the light bridge for anything other than just as a, it was just a blocking thing for that cube and we just had to turn it off so yeah that was pretty interesting okay so we've got different things here going on what we want to do is fizzle that that goes through there onto there and we can walk through to there. 
that's all well and good. Now, maybe about another one. I guess it's a redirection cube. No, redirection cubes aren't a thing in Mario. Also, that's a, a deadly field. We don't want to be messing about with that too much, do we? Okay, so I wonder if... what I think he might have implemented in Mario Hugo and this is insane we'll see we will see all right I don't know where I need portals to be honest uh, okay it, it goes too quickly in Portal, when you do that, you get like the ghost, the ghost cube kind of stays behind and keeps everything activated just for that little time afterwards. But clearly, we don't have them sorts of mechanics. Hence, why I was saying, if you've implemented what I think you've implemented, you are an absolute madman. Um, but yeah, that's uh, clearly not what we're going for here. Laser? Where is there a laser? Because light bridge, laser. Oh, it's the right there. So I need to get up there before I can do anything anyway. Okay, well, that's fair enough. We can do. Okay, let's let's drop one cube for a start. Yeah, so we do that first. So we do need to cross drop both cubes. I won't do that. Okay, and then we put that one. swap them. I'm trying to think I can I can be there and fizzle this one now I can, then I can access this area here. But I need this cube then. It won't matter. Will it matter? Won't it matter? I don't know. We'll find out. So now I fizzle this. It's on a timer. Used. I thought I saw a light bridge there, but I guess not. It's just the connection of the ant lines there. In such a cool little detail, but. that disable
How does that disable? I can push that from there. That's interesting. But I don't have a way to... See, I don't have a way. I don't have a way to um, put a portal at the top so that when I respawn. Maybe I'm. I think a portal there is important. So we're back to here. Uh, I've only respawned one of the cubes, this one at the minute. I haven't even called this one in. I'm still trying to... I still don't know, though, how I'm going to get past... This Fizzler. Oh! Oh, clever! Oh, I just need to work out how to do this, but basically what is going to happen, the cubes are going to block the laser. That's clever. Okay, well... So what do I actually need to do here? I need to pull that to there. Okay. So that needs to stay there, but at the same time... So I need this set up here, basically. Alright, so what if I send both cubes over first? Okay, then I want to do this. 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 Oh no, cube's not in the right place. Now I can come through here. I put a portal there. No, this one has to go. This one has to go over there. Then I'll put a portal here just so that the cube doesn't move. 
respawn this one. Respawn this one. Okay, and then I take my cubes here. I think I fizzle the cubes. I think that's the, the thing. So then we'll do... Oh, I don't know which way around the cubes are though. This is problematic. Uh, I think... Do you know what? Let's not... Uh, it's in the wrong place now. Alright, we gotta, oh, we gotta go for it. Um... God, the, the, the cube grabbing is like completely weird. Ah, that was wrong cube. Um, well, that's a yikes. But basically, what we do is we work out which cubes are which, push them off there. That one goes there. The next one will go there and block the laser. And then we should be golden. So let me go and reset that up, and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back and I have set this up. So this one should be our first cube. Excellent. Oh, but we didn't bring that through. Oh. Fiddle sticks. All right, let's try this again. So, this one, Fizzle. Excellent. Change the portal to there. This one, Fizzle. Now we go up to here. He says. And yes, look at that. The laser gets blocked. We walk through here. Huzzah! That was a good puzzle. That was a good puzzle. I instantly thought it was like the cube ghosting thing with the cube, stacking the cubes and doing it that way, but no. You got me, Hugo. All right, two to go. And this very destroyed theme. And that's what we need for an exit, it seems. Very few portals, it seems, in this one as well. <clears throat> Which is interesting. Okay, that disables light bridge okay so basically we're going to want to okay let's work with this we need to get a portal over there so we use this light bridge. So we use that light bridge to um, stop the cube from falling through the fizzler while it's temporarily off. we do that okay so we need to just change that there that's fine it's fine knew it was gonna happen i could have changed it from top there's like save states in a way okay so this ah now the problem with that oh no we can't press it okay so that gives us the cube So now that we have, the, you know, we're pretty close to the button. I can press it all for a start, and now I'm pressing it all the time. So now how do we get back to the bottom? That's the question. Here. Not like that is the answer.
put that there, but then I don't think I can... Can I jump across here? No. Obviously, we've tried that before. So, we can get the queue, but then how do we... How do we... Um... I suppose I could maybe jump back through here. No. Not there. Or there. Okay, that's not the answer then. So we can drop to that one. And we can go through to here. I wonder if there's like a bullet time shot to be had here. Trapping. I think I'm going to have to use the portal clear button, unfortunately. Alright, so. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's possible, but the timing is extremely tight. I wasn't ready for it there at all. Also, is that a little creeper at the top there, Hugo? Is that a creeper with a hat on, or is that just like a a cactus with a hat on? Quite a... It's quite a sandy level, this one. Yeah, I... I even with bullet time, I cannot pull that off. Okay. So we know how to get the cube. Oh, wait a minute, I can jump from here. Okay, actually, yeah. Might do something. So I could actually do this. Oh, I need to change the lead. Ah, this, <laughs> there's so many like little things. Oh, hold on a minute though. Um. Oh, maybe I... Yeah, no. There's there's a much easier way to do this. I think. He says. I don't know before. I got in here, didn't I? How was it? Like that and that. Then I did that. Yeah, which is all well and good, and that holds the cube in place, and me over here, but the minute I then shoot, that gets fizzled. No matter which, no matter which one I would have used there, that would have always got fizzled, right? So 
So the question is... is the way to get this cube down to here. There really isn't enough time to like physically Am I neglecting... Uh, okay, I'm neglecting a button. That could be important. only going to be important though if I can get back down to the bottom. How does one get back down to the bottom? There's just not enough time to shoot in both. Shoot to portal, pick up, move, shoot, and fall down here. Okay. So instead, I could do that. mistake. Um, but yeah, with that there, I could shoot there. If I could push that in there enough, I could shoot there. That would fall down there. Then I could go through this portal and drop down the bottom because this would be turned off. Okay, let's put this here. Then, let's go back and shoot that there. Oh, but no, but it needs to go through the portal. It can't go through... Yeah, it can't go through there. So that's fine at the mystery spawn. You got the cube. Take it over here. Do this, do this, do this. Put those cubes in the way. Okay, 
Can we not? Is it please possible not to? Alright, that'll do. Okay. Face this way. Do that. Through here. Shoot there. Now we can go back through here. And I can shoot there. Now I can switch that to there, that to there. Pick up the cube. Take it across here. Like that. Mario's placement is a little bit whack. Place it there. Whew. That was really good. I know I say that about every single puzzle that I've been playing, but that one was especially good. It's one of those puzzles with a few number of surfaces, but yet you really have to think about how you can use them. Which, to be fair, are probably some of the, the best puzzles you can make. All right. We're here, we're on to the finale. Oh, there's faith plate there. I didn't see the faith plate. Oh, we're up here. That's doing quite a bit. So it's opening the bottom and opening the top. Uh huh. That's turning on a laser. Don't see where the receiver is. The receiver's down there. That's a cube. Just in case you weren't aware, that's death. <laughs> so, just in case you weren't aware, that was a cube. That's a cube. Okay. So, which one is going to be? Well, we can't use the other one at the moment, can we? So. This one is going to be the most beneficial. I can use this. How is that? Oh, okay, so that's signage. The signage there. Yes, yeah, so this laser activates that. Gotcha. Okay, so next question is. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. Not because of the death. I think I can activate this receiver without having to do that. So we do that to there. Then what we need to do is get up to the top. That bit was right, as far as I can see. Then we're going to portal to there. Oh, lasers of death. Lasers of death. Oh, that could have been averted by a better portal manager, if I'm honest. Okay, so blue. Then.
orange. Excellent. So, um, I was about to say this is a silly question, but where's the exit? But there's no pipe on the exit. It's literally just. Um, all right. It's literally just we're going to walk out here where this tree is. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now next is swap cubes. We have to swap cubes. Because our ending move needs to clear this cube, and we can do that by the laser. Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, cube. That is activated by that. So if we leave this here, technically, should be able to just. Oh, that's problematic, isn't it? I'm going to have to clear the pause again. Sorry, here you go. by that. Okay. So then, let's go back. So that's my misinterpretation of the, what are the information I've got in front of me. So we can do that. Now we're going to want to and I guess we could shoot it to there. Which blocks the laser, but that's not going to help us there as such. Okay, so it does drop down. That's fine. Okay, so this one wants to go over there. It's fine, we can respawn it. This cube is in the worst place, clearly. time it. Alright. We've done that, we've done that. We've got both cubes on buttons. Yeah, no, it's this one that I need to disable. Yeah, no, that's right. We're, we're good. We're good. I think we're good. Now, this is where we need to cause the respawn to happen.
Alright, didn't even need to uh, time it as quickly as it did. There we go. That is the end of Simile Thoughts by Hugo B Designer. Absolutely fantastic and a great extension as well to um, the original map pack we played, like I say, at the beginning of the episode one some time ago. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, guys. And um, yeah, like I say, if you want to check this out, I highly recommend not just Hugo's maps, but checking out the game in general if you're a Mario or a Portal fan. It certainly does add a brand new dynamic to the game, indeed, and it uh, is pretty fun as we uh, head to the tree. Is this is is this Portal or Celeste? I'm unsure. <laughs> it's a bit like the tree at the top of. Uh, uh, of uh, Summit C hashtag spoilers don't listen to me uh, anyway guys thank you very much for watching I hope you did enjoy it as much as I did playing and until next time I've been Ock you've been awesome stay safe take care happy gaming